You may have seen my video review after one year of the Mustart portable EV charger, EV charge cable. And uh, so, yeah, it was a really good one. And um, I didn't have any problems with it. It did what I needed it to do at the time. And Mustart actually contacted me after they saw that video and they sent me a smart charger. And so this is a more advanced model that they sell. And uh, so we're going to check it out. It has the app and all that stuff. Uh, when they sent it to me, this is the box that it came in and goes straight into the product here. So you can see it has lots of packaging and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way. It's a pretty good sized box. So it has this little, little burlap bag with drawstring to provide cover for the plug. Uh, not to damage the LED screen or a plastic part and plugs into the car. Okay. All right, so we got that. This is pretty neat. We also have a pretty neat manual here. Color manual. Looks pretty detailed. And everything's kind of compact here. Here's a little hook. Now, this one's bigger, so that might be good for, like, hanging the uh, cable management, basically keeping this big cable coiled up wherever you need to have it. This looks like the plate that we're going to mount this big thing on. It's not that big, but it kind of sticks out from the wall a little bit. All right. So here's the nozzle. And the nozzle kind of looks exactly like the other one. So that's good. We know that works good. All right, so let's get this chunk out here. And let's go ahead and get all this stuff out. Get this plastic out of the way. All right, so now we can go ahead and do lift off here, I think. And get rid of this box. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we got everything out now. This big old chunky box. All right, so now we can look at it. Okay, so this, one of the good things about the other Mustart was that it has the sealed plug. Uh, the plug doesn't have like a hard plastic clamshell type design where the wires are put in there like an aftermarket type deal. It's a sealed uh, NEMA, uh, so it's a NEMA 14 to 50. Pretty typical with these type of charge cables. All right, so go ahead and get some of these plastic pieces off here and here. Oh, we got another one catching here. Okay, so this is the short, the short section here. All right, so now Always look at the wire gauge. So this is an eight aug wire. So that's good uh, on the short section. Now let's see what it is on the longer section here. All right, go ahead and uncoil it a little bit here. And so this side is 2A AUG, 110 AUG. And a 16 AUG. So the 16 AUG is not the, it's just a data uh, cable. So it doesn't, it's not a big deal. The main thing is that it has the A AUG and the 10 AUG, which is the 10 AUG would be your neutral and then the two A AUGs would be the, um, that would be the actual current cables there. So that seems good. 
Uh, eight is a good number for a 40 amp charger, as long as it's a quality, you know, wire and all that stuff, which is going to use not aluminum. It's going to be a copper wire in there. So yeah, this nozzle is just like the other one that I've experienced with for a year, and it's fine. Very tough, robust. Hadn't had any problems with it. So here's the main unit, and the pictures just make it look kind of normal, like a like a portable one. But if you look at the side, you can see it comes out from the wall quite a bit. Uh, but check it out. It actually has a place to put the nozzle right here. Let me get these cables out of my way. But yeah, we have a place to put the nozzle right there on the side, which is nice. So you can hang it up, keep the rain from getting on it and stuff like that. Because uh, this little rubber cap thing um, is good. It's better. It, it works pretty good. Um, but it's just not as convenient as just having a place to just kind of snap it in place. And then you just unplug it and then you plug it into the vehicle and then back and forth. You know, it's, it's just so much more convenient when you have that uh, place to plug it in here as a holder, like a holster or whatever. It does have a big red candy-like reset button. Looks like you turn it to reset it here to the right. All right, so then here's the like information panel here. So it lets you know what the lights mean and all that stuff. Now here's the certification, ETL certification here in the United States, the Intertech. And I'll leave a, uh, a link to that information. Because that's one of the things that a lot of people look for. They look for a UL certification. But UL is not the only certification company. Now, Mustar is calling this a smart charger. Uh, but it has the ability to use an app. But I was not able to, after several tries, get the app to connect to the device. Uh, so I can't really review that. Um, so I don't know if it's just my lack of know-how or whatever, but I just could not get it to work. Um, but it doesn't really need it because the, the way this is designed, it's very simple. It has two soft touch buttons here on the front. And the A is for the amps. You can adjust the amps just by tapping the A, just gently tapping it. It's a soft touch button. And you can cycle through and you just rest on the, the amount of amperage that you want the vehicle to charge. You do this before you plug it in. Uh, same thing with the letter T. It's a soft touch button. You just tap it uh, to add a time delay. So it's going to wait up to, I think it's 12 or 15 hours um, before it starts charging. So you can set that delay when you plug it in, set the delay, or you set the delay first, then you plug it in. Then it's going to wait those amount of hours, then start charging. So that way you can time it to where uh, you can have it charging during a a uh, the, the cheaper electricity rate, that kind of thing. It's very sturdy. You're able to wrap the cord around the actual unit itself. In my case, I just wrap it around the top of it because it's open, and you can just wrap the uh, the cord right around. It's it, it's obviously made for doing that. And uh, it's very solid on the wall. It has a built-in little holster for the the nozzle, the charge nozzle, and uh, and it's easy to use. It's just very simple. It displays a lot of information there on the screen. It shows what the current amperage is, um, what you have the amperage set at. So I have the vehicle set at a lower amperage than what the than what the charger can deliver. But you can go up to 40 amps with this. Uh, which is pretty significant. I mean, there's a lot of energy can get transferred with 40 amps. Uh, so since this is a plug-in unit, it makes it real simple. You mount the plate, you hang the unit on the plate, and then you put the three screws underneath it on the bottom, and it's very secure. And it looks good. 
you know, has a nice blue color. It gives you clear indicators there as far as the charging. The screen is nice. And uh, as far as like a permanent unit that you're just going to put on the wall and charge your vehicle each night, whether it be in the garage or outside, it can handle weather, it can handle rain, it can handle all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what it's designed to do. It's safety rated, it's water resistant, uh, it has a water resistant rating and everything. So, so yeah. I'm pretty impressed with it, um, especially for the price. A lot of these units are very expensive, so this one is a decent price, and it's a um, it's a good addition to the must start portable charger that you can keep in the vehicle. So, so yeah, I, I would say that my experience with the must start brand um, I've had over a year now, and it's been it's worked perfectly, and it, it, it operates exactly the way it's it's just simple. You know, that's that's the thing I like about it. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.